Um, without kissing ass. And I'm talking from experience, having seen your last two albums tours. And you truly mesmerize your audience. Uh, <clears throat> So how do you manage to generate such effortless brilliance from your shows? <laughs> I'm not kissing us, having been dead. Which twice. shows did you see? I see in Munich twice. Uh, Munich, oh, Muffet Hollow, yeah, 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 yeah. Last yeah. year, in November, yeah, and then yeah. 2012. That was a big show in Muffet Hollow. I loved it. We, we love that venue. I'm actually from Munich, oh, live cool. in Salzburg, so it was just a one hour drive. Got yeah, to I see mean, think. Muffet Hollow in Munich's great, man. It's so beautiful there. I mean, I love that venue because it's on a river, yeah. so you get to, you park up the bus and then I can go for a run and you can just run and we're always there in November or, or October for some reason Yeah. and it's always kind of autumn and you can go for a run through the leaves, that's just wicked, I love my fan. Um, how do we manage to mesmerise the audience? I don't know. <laughs> I guess because we're not entertainers, maybe, and we're not like, uh, actors so it doesn't require any effort on our part to do what we do if you know what I mean mm. we don't have to really pretend to do anything and even if you're really exhausted like I am today it as soon as you hit the stage you're suddenly not anymore you know and because we've been playing for so long <clears throat> we don't get nervous anymore I haven't been nervous in it. You get nervous randomly occasionally, but for strange reasons. Not like Arthur. No, because um, it's, it's uh, well, you know, 400 people, 4,000 people, it's the same. You've still got to play your songs and, not, and get them right. But I think it, maybe it's just because the audiences that we have, they don't need to be um, entertained. They just want to listen to the music we've got, you know. And they hope that it's good as do we, you know, and, and maybe that's what it is. They just, um, people actually come to the shows not to like have a good time, but just to listen to music. It's a, it's like um, Bon Iver does it too. When you go to a Bon Iver show, everybody's just like, me included, just completely tranced out. He doesn't have to do anything. He just has to come on and play Skinny Love and you're just like, in. So it's maybe it's something to do with that. But when you see these, when you see entertainer bands, you've got to be happy and got to be like, hey everybody, wow, it's great to be in Salzburg and <laughs> all that stuff. That's different because people might not have a good time. But with us, I don't know. I think the fans have a, I hate that word. The people who like our music, they um, seem to have a big deep connection to it. So therefore, um, they have a deep connection to the moment when I sing Yesterday Was Hard on All of Us or something, you know. Maybe that's what it is.